Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll create this simple part here in FreeCAD and we'll use these dimensions here to create the model in FreeCAD. So first we create a new file, clicking this icon and here we change to our design of bench. Create body and create new sketch in X plane. Choose this plane. And next here we select this Pole line tool and click in this origin point. Now do this line, this line, and this line. Now click in this horizontal line and click in this origin point. Now select this fillet tool and fillet this part here and these two lines. And next, select this equal constraint and make these two arcs equal. Okay. Then now select this horizontal constraint and constrain this point to this point. Okay. And now we go to sketch jumps and here we select this slot tool and we draw this slot between these two points. And next, let's see the dimension for this sketch. So here we have 7, we have this dimension 10, we have 20 here, a radius of 10 for this, for this arc, and a radius of 3 for this arc here. Okay, and the pad of this sketch is 85. So come back to this model and first we select we select this vertical distance tool and here we set now first we select this line here and we set the length to 25 and we set the distance between these two points to 10 millimeters okay and next we select this horizontal distance tool and we click in this line and here we change to 20 okay and now we select this here and constrain this radius to 10 and this radius to 3 okay you can see here in this page 10 3 20 okay and the dimension for this line you can see here in this page the dimension is 15 so select this tool here and here we set 7 and here we set 15 and then we close the sketch okay and next we go to model and we select the sketch and go to pad tool and here we set 8 5 and check this option map to plane and now click ok so next we create a new sketch in YZ plane. Okay, here we switch to section view and we select this center the rectangle tool and we, we click in this vertical line and we draw this. So okay, here in this page we see this dimension for this pocket, sixth. Okay, and here we, we have this dimension, eight. So here we come back and first we select this horizontal distance tool and here we set 6 and now we select this vertical distance tool click in this point and this origin point and here we set 8 and now close this sketch right click on mouse and go to attachment editor and here we change the value of the duration to 70 okay and now we can see this catch in this in this face so click ok and now select this sketch and go to pocket tool okay here we change to 7 minus 15 and okay so now we have this pocket here and the next step is to create another sketch in YZ plane what we have to do here is to okay Switch to section view and here select the cycle tool 
through this cycle and now through the second cycle okay and now let's see the dimension for this sketch so here we see a range of 15 for this first arc and a range of 10 for this second arc okay and the distance between the center point of the cycles to the region is 25 so we go to we select this tool here and we extract the geometry of this of this part and we select this horizontal constraint and we constrain these two points okay and now we change the dimensions we change the diameter of these cycles to here to 20 and here to this dimension and now we close this sketch go to pet tool and here we set here we set 20 so change here to 20 and click ok and now to remove this material we select this face and we go to this pocket tool ok and here we set trigger and ok so next we create another sketch in YZ plane and here what you have to do is to use this tool here and extract this edge switch to section view and here select this centered rectangle tool and draw this rectangle clicking this point here okay and now we close this sketch go to pocket tool and here set print okay check this option reverse it and now you can see this click okay and yes this part is finished 